Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I am really hoping to reach 100 subscribers by Valentine's Day, which is the end of the Robes 08 fragrance reviewer contest. So I would love it if you'd hit subscribe for me if you haven't yet. And so I'm really excited to bring you today's video, which is reviewing uh, Jeremy Fragrance's top five female fragrances that he recently posted. And so I am going to get into some detail. I'm gonna do first impressions and I'm gonna get into a little bit of detail on each of the five. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm putting timestamps below. So if you are only interested in one of the fragrances, then you don't have to sit through the whole video. So these are my first impressions of Jeremy Fragrances current top five female fragrances. So I am going to just give you my first impressions. I'm going to do a little more in depth um, in other parts of this video. So the first one I have is Mon Guerlain. And this is, I believe this is probably not a total first impression. I think I tried this at one point. I don't remember exactly how long ago, but it's been a while. So this has lavender, bergamot, jasmine, iris, rose, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka, benzoin, licorice, and patchouli. This is the Eau de Parfum. I believe it comes in an Eau de Toilette, and I believe there are quite a few flankers now. Very popular, hugely popular. Um, and it is, it is very pretty. I think I was expecting it to be more along the lines of, um, I was expecting it to be more along the lines of Mon Perry or Black Opium, but this, this has a little unique twist. It's not like, it's not a mind blowing experience for me, but it's very pleasant, very pretty, kind of, um, it seems like it'd be good for year round and it seems like it'd be good for most ages. So it seems very versatile to me nice um i think it's pretty office friendly just these are my first impressions so i'm going to give these more thorough wear test but my first impression of mongerlan is very good i was expecting it to be much more of a black opium or um mon Perry or even flower bomb but it's it i i like it more than those um i really like mon Perry actually but i think this is this is it reminds me a little bit of Good Girl, now that I'm smelling it a little more. But anyway, I like it. It's very nice. I think it's it smells like it could be very versatile, but I will test the longevity and all that other good stuff. So that's Mon Perry by Guerlain. Then I have Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I just got a rollerball of this one um, because I don't want to buy a big bottle of all of these. And I... We'll link my um, how to decant a rollerball into an atomizer video in the cards because I much prefer, <laughs> I can't smell anything at this point, I gotta put this on. So I much prefer an atomizer and I'm sure that I will decant this one. So this has wild berries that form an introduction to the heart of sambac, jasmine, and honeysuckle. The base features warm aromas of sandalwood, golden amber, caramel, and vanilla elixir. So yeah, very gourmand, um, pretty, not overpowering, um, not mind blowing again <laughs> for me. And um, it's just kind of a nice gourmand to me. Um, I think there are gourmands that I enjoy more like Lolita Lampica and um, actually I'll, I'll link my gourmands video, <laughs> my current favorite gourmand fragrances. But this is nice. Um, I'll be interested to see how this one develops on the skin and how it wears throughout the day. In fact, I might decant this one um, and make this one my first tester because this is the newest to me out of these. I think I've, um, I've sampled maybe some of these other ones. Anyway, so that's Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. The next one I have is Poison Girl from YSL. I'm looking for the label and I'm not seeing one, but this is the, um, this is the Eau de Parfum for Poison Girl. Why doesn't it say Poison Girl? Okay, maybe that's just how it is. So, 
Okay, we're testing this one on the skin. I actually did try this right away when it came in the mail because I couldn't wait. I love, I actually really love the Poison line. It, um, it brings me back to the 80s. Um, and I don't know if I can um, tell a huge difference. I have a bottle of Pure Poison. Um, I have a travel spray of Hypnotic Poison. And now I have this Poison Girl. And I, I'm not noticing a huge difference. They all have that poison DNA. And I really like this. Um, poison Girl, I have a feeling, is going to be my favorite of Jeremy's top female fragrances of the moment. So Poison Girl, I'm really... <laughs> I'm putting them in the crooks of my elbow. I don't know why, but... So that's Poison Girl, first impressions. And I didn't read the notes. Sicilian bitter orange leads to the heart of roses, which consists of May rose from grass and Damascus rose, Venezuelan tonka bean, sandalwood from Sri Lanka, tolu balm, almond, and vanilla. So that's Poison Girl. Next I have Mark Jacobs Decadence. Um, my daughter wanted this for her birthday, so um, I'm, I gave her an early birthday present and now I'm borrowing it. It's not very, that's not being a very good mom, is it? Anyway, so um, it's nice. This is another one that I kind of sampled earlier today. And it is uh, it is kind of a powerhouse. I like it. Um, and it's I think it's popular for a good reason. Um, it's got Italian plum, saffron, iris, Bulgarian rose, sambac, jasmine, orris root, and amber, vetiver, papyrus wood. So, of course, it's got the iconic purse packaging. Um, I've, I've heard that it's more of a night appropriate and I would agree with that. It is really kind of a beautiful kind of intoxicating, um, not very teenager appropriate now that I'm smelling it, but you know, they're going to wear what they're going to wear. So, mm, it is nice and I will be interested to see how the longevity is. And this is actually kind of cool how this is actually like that faux snake skin on the, the cap. So it's, you know, I think it's a little classier than The Good Girl um, by Carolina Herrera, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's a conversation piece, I guess. So that's Decadence. The last one I have is La Vieille Belle uh, Le Clat by Lancome. And this has bergamot, mandarin orange, freesia, Orange Blossom, White Flowers, Jasmine Sambac, Iris, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Patchouli. I'm noticing a lot of note similarities here. So it seems like Jeremy must like Jasmine, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Patchouli. I guess they're pretty common notes. Um, so I'm going to give this one. I got the Travel Spray from Fragrance Net. These were all from Fragrance Net. Um, my favorite place to shop because it's so cheap. Um, so I'm going to spray this one on paper because I'm wearing so many other things at the moment. And that was the other one I was thinking of when I was thinking of Mont Guerlain. I was thinking it might smell like La Vieille Belle. So this is definitely similar to La Vieille Belle. I don't have La Vieille Belle. Um, I might have a travel spray that I decanted from like a mini or something. Um, and I have a um, La Vieille Belle body cream that I use, like to use for layering. So the jasmine's really coming through. It's very pretty. It's very classy. Um, I like this a lot more than the original La Vie Belle, which I have a hard time distinguishing between La Vie Belle and Flower Bomb, frankly. So this has more jasmine, which I appreciate. And it's quite very, very floral and pretty, elegant, sweet. So those are my first impressions on these five fabulous fragrances and I will um, be checking in with some other updates in this video. So thank you. Hi there. I just thought I'd check in quick on Mont Guerlain. And what I think about Mont Guerlain is it's very nice. It lasted most of the day. So I applied it at six this morning. It's 3.15 now and um, I can still smell it. It's more of a skin scent at this point. Um, uh, I kind of stick with my first impression that it's it's not blowing me away or knocking my socks off or anything dramatic like that, but I like it. It's pretty. It's nothing I would probably buy. Um, the other piece is 
I didn't really get a very decent sample. So I, I just got a sample of that one from Fragrance Net. And usually a little sample of perfume will last me like three to four applications. But this one was just, there wasn't very much in there at all. It was barely one application. So, um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Mont Guerlain. Uh, I can see where, where people would, would really like it, but there's just, um, there's just so many things that I like more. So it's definitely not in my top. It's pretty, but it's definitely not one of my top favorites. So I sound a little bit like a negative Nelly, but that's just how it, that's just how it is right now. So, all right, on to the next one. Hi there. I am here to talk about Viva La Juicy Gold Couture at the moment. So I wore this today. I got the rollerball that I showed in my intro and I, um, I can barely smell it. So <coughs> it is now 4.30. I put this on at six in the morning with the rollerball. I hadn't, haven't had a chance to decant it yet. And it didn't last very well. It lasted maybe a couple hours. Um, and then it really just developed in this soup into the super light skin scent that I can, if I stick my nose right up to my arm, I can smell it. I never had a chance to reapply it during the day. So, um, anyway, my impressions are not too far off from my first impressions. It's a nice gourmand. I think it's pleasant. It's perhaps a little too youthful for me in my, um, 51 years here. So, um, you know, sometimes I wear things that are probably not appropriate for a woman of my age, but I don't care that much. So, um, that's one of the good things about getting old is you don't care as much about stuff like that anymore. But, um, so this is pretty youthful and I think Jeremy Fragrance's channel is, is pretty youthfully, um, spirited. So it's, it's not a surprise that most of the fragrances are going to appeal to younger women, probably more than middle-aged women. So um, Gold Couture is something that I'll probably wear it again, um, but it's not gonna be one of my top choices. So those are my first, imp well, my second impressions of Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And on to the next one, thanks. Hello, Poison Girl today was my scent of the day. And I have to say, I like this one more than any of the other ones in Jeremy's top five female fragrances that I've tried so far um, beyond the first impressions. So I think it has a really, sorry about the wobbly phone here, but um, I think it has a really beautiful dry down. I can still smell it. It just really, um, I, I like the poison line. It's kind of nostalgic for me because I grew up in the eighties and so there's that aspect and um it's just it's just really pretty it's got a nice floral spicy mix to me so it's very um multi-dimensional and so i really like poison girl i also have a bottle of pure poison and then i have a travel spray of hypnotic poison at home so i'm happy with this purchase and like i said it's my favorite from jeremy's top five at the moment i still have two to go. But um, those are my thoughts on Poison Girl. I think it lasts really well. I probably sprayed three times maybe. Um, and it's got like a really good projection because I don't want to project too much fragrance, but I also want somebody to smell it, but I don't want to overpower people by any means. So those are my thoughts on Poison Girl. Thanks for watching, and here's the next one. Mark Jacobs Decadence. So this is the um, lovely purse <laughs> um, packaging, and I really kind of liked it at first when I first sprayed it, but it really does not have good lasting power. I've only had it on for maybe three hours at the most, and it's it's mostly gone. and. You know, it's just like that super faint, super faint smell. So I think it's got kind of a, a pretty, I can understand why it's popular because it's got that really pretty, plummy, deep, rich blast at first. And so I can understand the popularity and why people love it. However, I like to have something that lasts longer. So personally, I wouldn't recommend it. It, um, 
it dries down to almost nothing in a pretty quick time and I would expect more for that fragrance because it's not cheap it's you know it's certainly not the most expensive I think you're paying a lot for packaging with that one um because that's got to cost a lot to manufacture <laughs> anyway I am not really that impressed so those are my thoughts on Marc Jacobs Decadence and last but not least Encombe La Vie Belle Le Clot. I really like this one it's beautiful and it also does not have the best longevity, unfortunately. The scent itself reminds me a lot of Poison Girl, so I really like it. It's got that really spicy, beautiful, um, uh, it's gorgeous, but it is, it disappears very quickly, unfortunately. So, um, for that reason, it's not among my favorites. I will definitely wear the travel spray that I got. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I prefer it much more than the original La Vie Belle. I think it's a good flanker, but I'm not sure why the longevity performs so poorly, but I found that it started disappearing after only about, um, probably only 90 minutes of wearing it and it, it started to really fade. So it's a little bit, um, powerful and, you can definitely smell it when you first spray it on, but after a while, not too long, it just starts to disappear. So unfortunately, La Vie Belle La Clot, I think is, is nice, but I wouldn't recommend it because of the performance. So, so to recap, I think that Poison Girl is definitely my favorite. I really love it. I'm glad that I got a full bottle of that one and not some of the other ones. So I love Poison Girl. As I said before, I really like the Poison line in general. And so I'm definitely gonna be wearing that one um, along with my other poisons. And then my second favorite would probably be Mont Guerlain. I would have to say, I really like Mont Guerlain. I would like to try it again. And Mont Guerlain had decent performance, which is important to me. So, and I think it's really pretty. It could be a nice daily driver. I understand why it's popular. I probably won't be running out to buy it soon because I have so many fragrances and I just don't need a full bottle right now. And I didn't love it as much as, as like I mentioned, some of my fragrances. So it's really nice, um, but I don't think I'll be buying that. Followed by La Vie Belle Le Clot. I really like this one because like I said, it reminds me of the Poison line a little bit and the longevity is not great, but I think that it's really pretty. I, um, I really enjoyed that one. And so I would put that in third place, kind of in the middle. And then Marc Jacobs Decadence. Um, I really like that at first. It, it's really pretty when you first put it on, but again, the performance is just not great. And so then finally, the Viva La Juicy Gold Couture would be my least favorite of the five. It's just personally not for me. It's a, it's a decent enough gourmand. Um, and again, the longevity is not great. And it just was a little bit not that exciting for me. I, they're just gourmands that I enjoy much more than that. So um, I will link my favorite gourmands video up in the cards. And so, yeah, those are my thoughts and I would be really interested to hear what your thoughts are. So I would love it if you would leave those in the comments below for me. And also what kind of videos are you interested in seeing from me? I would love to hear your thoughts on that too. So please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And thank you so much for spending this much time with me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.